Hello everyone, in today's video we will be discussing about hypothermic, hypothermic and isothermic solution. I can understand that this can be a little confusing in the beginning and I will try my best to make it easy for you all. First let's cover a few key points like what is solution. A solution is composed of solute and solvent. To solvent we add solute and we get solution. For example, if you want to make a sugar solution, we add sugar to water. Here water is solvent and sugar is solute. Now let's discuss and understand how water moves across the cell. Diffusion is movement of water from a region of low concentration higher concentration of solute. Please note the term solute. Diffusion is the movement of water from region of low concentration to higher concentration of solute. In cell, water moves from outside the cell to inside or vice versa. Water moves across cell membrane. Cell membrane is semi-permeable in nature, it allows movement of certain molecules only. So if water moves inside the cell, it has to cross cell membrane. Now let's move on and understand what are hypotonic, hypotonic and isotonic solution. The term hyper means more in hypertonic solution, the cell is surrounded by a concentrated environment. As we discussed earlier, water moves from low concentration to high concentration of solute, right? So, your water will move outside the cell. The environment in which the cell is kept is concentrated meaning the environment outside the cell is having more solute than inside. As we know, the movement of water takes place from region of lower concentration to higher concentration of solute. So water moves from inside to outside, from inside to outside the cell. And the cell eventually shrinks over time. Let's go through this all over all over again in hypotonic solution the cell is kept in a highly concentrated environment so this is water moves from inside to outside the cell there is an outflow of water to which the cell shrinks let's come and discuss over about hypotonic solution in hypotonic solution the cell is kept in less concentrated environment so the movement happens from outside to inside the cell and it results in inflow of water due to which the cell swells and becomes turgid. In the next diagram, by now, I am sure you must have guessed what is happening. In isotonic solution, the concentration of solute and solvent inside and outside the cell is equal. So the movement of water from inside to outside is equal to the movement of water from outside inside of the cell. There is no net movement of water and the cell remains present. That's all for today. I hope you like this video.